Hey guys, Ken Scott, senior U.S. immigration law intelligence analyst with Triple W, U.S. Entry Waiver Services dot com. Want to get you guys cleared to enter the USA. February sixteenth, twenty twenty four. Uh, I guess for this video, if you are obsessive compulsive, press one repeatedly. Oh, let me pause. Ask someone to press two for you. If you have multiple personalities, press three, four, five, and six. If you are paranoid, we know what you are and what you want. Stay on the line and you'll save your call. If you're delusional, press seven and your call will. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello? Sorry, guys, this, I have to do this quickly here. This always happens. Hi there. Yes. Right by Dr. Chima. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yes, yes. Okay. Well, guys, this video I'm shooting now, <laughs> this was all unexpected. The video is going to be, I have to do this quickly. The main topic of the video was going to be uh, prices you pay for U.S. waivers and how we operate. So guys, what we're running into now is because of the fact that we are so busy that we've had to turn away a lot of the small fish cases like people from the past. So for example, we got people from the past who um, pay much smaller amounts and they find out that we are crazy busy. They... If you are a staff compulsive, <laughs> press one repeatedly. If you are codependent, one, uh, wait one second, guys. Hey, sir. Hey, it's going good. Good. Yeah, what we did was uh, the girl I told you about. We're shifting a large percentage of people away from the girl, and it's going towards you. So he's one of the ones that's being shifted because her schedule is re usually really tight. So, um, no, none. He's done none. He's done none, none at all with her. Uh, normally three. Yeah, I mean, three to five, but I mean, yeah, five would be ideal. Yeah, because the government fee is going up to 1100 U.S., and... <laughs> okay, that's perfect.
Oh, okay. That's not a problem. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Okay. You too. Right. Anyway, guys, that's another example. This video was shot at just the right time. <laughs> that's crazy. But point is, I'll make this quick. We have so much business. We really had to find ways to cut back. So our price structure facilitates that. Now, some of the people who've paid really, really cheap in the past don't like that. And we've had to let them go. It's been at least nine, probably going to be 10 tomorrow. But this video is kind of a message for them. And the message for those guys is it's really no hard feelings. I mean, you guys have been good to us, but we have limited resources. So we just don't have the time. And I don't know how to say this in a nice way. Um, just a mat. Okay. Fuck, what can I use? Just imagine um, a Douglas fir tree. Douglas fir tree is larger in comparison to a twig. The Douglas fir tree guys, so to speak, are the ones who have the serious criminality and used to move the major weight in the past and things worse than that. Those are the ones who come in. They've left their industry. They come in. We work their cases. We, the fees we charge them much higher than we charge the twig. So having limited resources, they take away a lot of the resources, which is fine because their relatives, their friends, their blah, 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 on down the train. So for the guys who are the twigs, there's nothing disrespectful to you guys. For the guys who are the twigs, you guys need to understand that the Douglas fir is going to outweigh the twigs. And it's not about greed. It's about lodging. If the Douglas fir individual is paying 5 to 10K or more for the stuff that they have from the past, we can't accept a 550 person. There's a twig. It doesn't make any sense because we got to take resources away from the Douglas fir to give to the twig. So you guys understand it's nothing personal. Again, this is mostly for the guys who had to do this in the past, I would say, 40 days. It is what it is. So some of them got mad. Some of them understand. But I'm telling all you guys, it's nothing personal. It's just that we're swamped with work from the Douglas firs and we just don't have the time for the twigs. Again, I'm not being offensive or trying to put anyone down, but we're talking like apples compared to aircraft carriers. I mean, <laughs> what are we supposed to do? So, but the ones who are the twigs are the ones who got well, the more or more angry than the Douglas fir guys. So, anyway, this message is for you guys, the ones the the twigs. Again, it's nothing personal. I mean, you guys have done nothing to me, but you guys got to understand it's just business. And the furs, all Douglas furs, are always going to outweigh the twigs. It's just simple numbers, simple math. So anyway, Ken Scott, senior U.S. Immigration Law Intelligence Analyst with Triple W, U.S. Entry Waiver Services dot com, and it's eight 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 nine zero eight three eight four one or six zero four five six two eight one four zero. I'll let you guys go. Just to let you guys go quickly. The Douglas Fir guys are the ones we get cleared quite often. And those are the ones we use the uh, DHS manuals, regulations, statutes, blah, 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 which we have access to. And those are the boys we get cleared because those boys think they'll never get cleared based upon what they've done. And we can get around it. So we just don't have the time for the, you know, the small fish, the twigs. So... And they only want to pay like five fifty, six, seven hundred. We can't accept that when we're getting five to ten times or more from the Douglas fir. Actually, usually maybe ten. I don't know. So, anyway, guys, like I said, it's no offense to the smaller fish guys, but I had to put this video out because I'm not that kind of guy who's just all about money, or the kind of guy who um, doesn't keep his word. Is that basically our hands are tied? We're between a rock and a hard place. We've had to do certain things to reduce this workload, this business. We have too many people, too many clients. So anyway, signing off and live long and prosper.